<sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. I never thought I'd be doing this again. All my life I want money if I respect my mind or die from that shop. I pray my What up guys, it's uh it's Hunter here. I'm here with a reaction video, which I never thought I'd be doing uh, ever again. It's, but seeing as it's 2021, I, I figured why not. And obviously, with a lot of new music coming out, it's, it's convenient. So yeah, given the fact that there's a lot, of shit, a lot of shit going on already, and it's just barely January, I need, I need some sort of solace, some sort of way to calm the fuck down, because I'm about to fucking snap. I had a close call two weeks, uh, two days ago. Uh, I won't get into that, some personal problems that I have to deal with myself, but I'd rather not even think about that. Anyways, let's get on with today's reaction video. Or one or two, hopefully, because uh, it's, from what I can see, it's about to be 3 p.m. So I need to get this shit done already. So right now, we'll be reacting to the new The Crown song. And obviously, The Crown be one of my favorite bands of all time. This is a huge fucking deal for me, considering they're releasing a new album one day after my birthday. One fucking day after my birthday, and I'm so fucking excited for this. This is Motor Death from the new album titled Royal Destroyer. And from what I can see, some people were complaining about the font of the album title, which honestly, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very minuscule to let that get on your nerves. Just focus on the actual product and shut the fuck up and support the band. Anyways, here's uh, my reaction to The Crown, Motor Death. Uh, let me close the door really quickly. Alright, so let's get on with this reaction video, yes? Let's get on with this reaction. Alright, so here we go. More death by the crown in three, two, one. Yeah, get like the criminal does it better. Wow, fucking excited. I've heard this song only like once to its entirety. I need to really hear it. But I already know it's the fucking Fuck yeah, love it! <laughs> Shout out to the, the homeboy Marco. More about that after the react after the video done. You know what's crazy? The fact that Johan was with the vocalist during the time they recorded uh, Doomsday King. And Doomsday King is one of my favorite albums of all time. Weird. It could be hard to top Cobra Steve Venom, but I can't wait for this record. These guys don't fuck around, dude. They do really it Those rips, man. I reckon the only two consistent members are, uh, are Magnus and, and, and uh, Marco. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. From their time, they used to be known as Chrono Thorns. Because there's some people who don't know that this band used to be known by a different name, but, you know. <laughs> if you don't know, there's something, there's something wrong with you, but whatever. <laughs> Just in case you haven't noticed, I'm huge when it comes to rhythm, and these guys pull it off to perfection. To perfection. <laughs> this sounds like the old stuff from Death Race King, if I'm being honest with you. Of course, Johan was the vocalist around us, too, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot Marco doesn't do solos here as much. Oh, that fucking melody, dude. I love it. I love it. Beautiful, dude. Apparently, these guys are considered melodic death metal, too. I could kind of hear it, but I'm mostly consider them to be a death thrash metal band, or whatever. We don't care about labels here in my YouTube channel, so. Yeah, I realize what's going on in the music video too. The whole Buddha thing. It's 
imagine someone had a wooden doll on me. I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very melodic. Yeah, I, okay, I see what they mean now by melodic death but Still, it's not their main trope, you know? Okay, so Marco does do beats here. Okay. Yeah, because this song is heavily driven by rhythm. Yeah, because this uh, most times on uh, the other guy. Fuck, what's his name? I'm sorry, but, uh, he's a new member of the band, but he's the one who usually does uh, beat work. Because I know that Marcus soonest son of Angel was here. Was hit was in this band, and in this case, guy came along with the blonde hair and replaced him. So verdict. Um, I fucking can't wait for the new album. I'm gonna pre-order it as soon as I get paid, and um, obviously that's one of those things to where you know you have to consider whether or not albums like Death Is Not Dead are easy to forget about. Even though I enjoyed the record, there's people who didn't like Death Is Not Dead, and not just because of the name of the album, but for so for several reasons. If you go to the metal archives, you see see fucking people, you see purists, metal purists, if you will, tear that album apart. I personally didn't think it was that bad, but I think it was the set in the sense I don't know because of probably the quality of the album. I don't know what it was, but I personally didn't see anything wrong with the album. But this album and this uh, Cobra Speed Venom is gonna be hard to top, and obviously Cobra Speed Venom set the bar high, and that album in particular is so, it fucking punches you in the face immediately with the first song, "Destroyed by Madness." Wow, <laughs> I don't know. I've been having a rough couple of days. Ah. Uh, Hope I don't snap on someone. The thing to take away from this is that the expectations are high for Royal Destroyer. And for this band to be as heavy as they are still, you know, after so many years and they're still keeping that sound. I know for a fact, and this isn't just me just saying this because they're one of my favorite bands of all time, but they're not gonna let down. They're not gonna let anyone down with this new record. And I know that for a fact. I'm very faith I'm very confident in this statement because they're the crown and they're a freaking amazing band. And, you know, obviously there are going to be doubters who probably won't be into the new record at all, but whatever. Fuck them. <laughs> Leave in the comment down below what do you guys think about this song. Uh, like I said, huge fucking props to you guys. And obviously, I'm looking forward to the new album. A day after my birthday, as I said. Oh, by the way, um, I'll leave a link to... Uh, and I'll leave a link to an Instagram post uh, from Marco's official Instagram where he's offering mixing and mastering services. And I would highly recommend... You guys should check it out because from what I can hear, from what I've heard, he's actually been actually doing some of the mixing and matching himself in the, in, in the last few records, if I'm not mistaken. But I would highly suggest for you guys to check out what he has to offer. It, not that it, it's not that expensive, if I'm being honest with you. If, you're, if you just want to record a song or, or an EP like I want to, wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> no, but if you're looking, if you guys are looking to record, you uh, look no further than to talk to Marco. And I'm pretty sure he, 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 you guys could work something out. So, yeah. It's been Hunter Forsberg. Can't wait for the new album, guys. You guys are fucking awesome. And I'm so fucking excited for the new album, man. I really am. All right, that's enough for me. I'm going to shut the fuck up now.